Hi, in this video I'm going to do a test to see which iPhone runs faster. So we have a range of phones here from the iPhone 4 to 4S, 5C, and we've got the 5, 5S, 6, and 7. So we're going to run a test. I'm just going to uh, type on the, the, the test button here and run the test. And, uh, it's going to do a various number of tests and you make you see which phones going to um, run fast. So do a uh, hardware test. So there it is. I'm just going to press on the start button and they just going to run through a number of uh, graphic tests, RAM tests, audio tests and it's going to come back with a different number of results and from there we can uh, look at the scores and see uh, which one performed the slowest and which one performed the fastest so the iPhone 7 has just been released here it's right here uh, this one and we can see already uh, some of the testing is already uh, ahead and some is behind so we can see there is progressing quite well and uh, at the end we're going to see uh, which one will come out as a winner so you can see here at the moment the iPhone 4S and 5C uh, pretty much have the same uh, speed it appears that even the 4S is uh, running faster than the 5C that one just on low memory I just want to click on close and let test again because of that message stopping the phone uh, it doesn't matter we should be able to run the test again it should uh, finish shortly so the iPhone 4 is being really slow it's only up to 19% Once it's finished, it come out with a total score, and uh, looking at these scores, we can uh, determine um, which phone is running the fastest. So we just had a restart on the iPhone 7, but it shouldn't really matter because we are just only interested in uh, looking at the final score. Okay, the 5C has uh, already finished and it come back with a score. Uh, we're just going to wait until everything is finished. Now the 5 is also finished and it come back with a score also. We're still waiting for the 4, 4S, 5S, 6 
and 7 because we uh, we run the iPhone 7 so now we're just going to have to wait a little bit the iPhone 4 is still going it's pretty much closed now over halfway so that's the iPhone 6 finished already the 5S now also finished 4S now finished too so we just the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 7 So the iPhone 7 is nearly finished there. The iPhone 4 seems to be um, appears to be stuck. So maybe it's not frozen, it just takes some time. Okay, the 7 also come back with a score now. So while we're waiting for the phone for the iPhone 4, we can go ahead and look at the scores on the some of the other phones. So if we're looking at the iPhone 4S, it comes back with a score of 13,866, as you can see right here. Now moving up with the iPhone 5C, we can see we have a score, sorry about the crack screen, but you can see there is a score of 30,639 points. Now surprisingly, the iPhone 5 is running faster than the 5C with a score of 31,022 now moving up to the 5S it is a big improvement the score is doubling of the 5 and the 5C at 63,177 now again with the iPhone 6 the score is 79,877 so a little bit of improvement over the 5S, but not that much big of a difference, whereas the 5S and the 5, it's doubling the scores. Now finally, if we're looking at the iPhone 7, so the score here is 111,469 points, so that's quite a big uh, difference, up to uh, 30,000 points, so it's nearly 31,000 points. Um, improvement over the 6 so the 7 is much faster so when comparing against the iPhone 4s you can see there the score is almost uh, 10 times so I guess uh, when working on the phone you would be uh, you would be 10 times faster than the iPhone uh, uh, 4s uh, the 4 is kind of like stuck so uh, look like it can't even handle the, the, the the test, uh, the application test. So here you can't even uh, handle the software. It can't be stuck right here on the graphic page. So I would maybe guess maybe it's only eight thousand or ten thousand uh, with the iPhone four. Uh, given how slow it is, uh, I don't think we're going to be able to uh, get any points out of this test here. It's running really slow. I can't even press on the start. The app basically uh, crashed the phone. So now it's not doing anything but yeah even without this phone we can get an estimate yeah, it's quite slow so um, we can skip this one all together and look at the 4s 5c 5 5s 5 6 and 7 and that's it thanks for watching this video now you can see how fast uh, each phone is so when we're looking at between the 4s and the 7 you can see there is a big difference and then there is a big jump onto the 5S so the 4S has a big jump with the 5S so the S model seems to be uh, quite fast and then you've got a 6 and a 7 thank you for watching this video okay so after running another test the iPhone 4 come back with a score of 7904 so it's pretty much to what I said before it's around 8000 so yeah, it is the slowest um, of the one that we test.